Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV and today we're unboxing the all new iPhone 15 Pro in the natural titanium with the new action button and USB-C. Now this is a very unique color, so definitely stay tuned to the end. I'll be showing you the color and how it changes in different light. Let's get started. All right, so we've got some iPhones all around here. We unboxed the pink just a little while ago. So if you're interested in that, check the channel. But we've got titanium here. And as you can see from the box, depending on the color you choose, the branding is going to reflect that color. And there it is, the iPhone 15 Pro in that natural titanium color. Super nice. It brings you back to just the MacBook Pro original silver almost. It's really nice. Some of people were saying that it was gold. I don't see any hints of gold at all here. Maybe on the sides, the titanium sides here, but it's very hard to see if any. So we'll put this to the side for now. Inside the box, you're going to get your sticker paperwork and sim ejection tool nothing too crazy and finally 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 usb-c take a closer look at this new titanium color here so on the back glass as usual this is a matte glass or almost pastel silver sort of look here so you're not going to get fingerprints on it looks super sharp especially when the light hits it kind of bringing off that white from the bottom really nice you've got gray or silver inside the camera as well and these molded sort of camera bumps here that kind of just fit right into that glass along the sides here is the titanium a lot better than the stainless steel that you would get with the iphone 14s a lot of fingerprints would apply to that i'm not sure if the titanium is going to be different when you choose a color because obviously they're painting this natural titanium color so i'm not sure if it would cause any sort of fingerprints, but there's almost no fingerprints at all when you touch this titanium natural color. But let's just quickly power this on and we'll take a look at some of the new features here. So mainly we have the new USB port at the bottom and this has a lot of functions to it other than just charging. You can transfer, you can also charge between two iPhones and even charge your AirPods now through that port if you have the new AirPods Pro 3. And then obviously right here, we no longer have a silent switch. So if you were someone who loved the silent switch, unfortunately, it's gone. However, not too big of a deal because this action button right here is going to allow you to silence your phone anyway and silences it by default. The good option here is that it's fully customizable, so you can pretty much do whatever you want with it. Have it open up an application, open the camera, things like that. So it's pretty much the same and it does have tactile click but during the setup process you will get prompted right here for the action button so when you first set up your iphone it's going to take you to a page like this and this is the action button it's telling you to press and hold to turn silent mode on and off so let's just try that you press and hold it turns off this is a lot easier in my opinion especially when you have your phone in your pocket you're just pressing this button easy to feel you can also customize the action button right here so you can have it open your camera flashlight or access favorite features let's tap customize and see what we get so you can switch between silent and ring for calls and alert you can have it use focus camera flashlight voice memos magnifier and even shortcuts so that really takes it to another level being able to use shortcuts means you can create any shortcut for it to do with any app or any action and you can have it do no action not sure why you would choose no action but we'll tap continue and there we are we can pull up our iphone here and if you're looking for the action button settings just open up your settings tap action button and you have everything here you can set it to any one of these options just like that just like we did during the setup one thing i actually wanted to test out was this charging feature i watched someone on youtube do i believe it was mkbhd i just want to see how this works so it's supposed to charge between two phones by usb c here so we plugged one in and we plug the other end of the same cable obviously to itself here and it's supposed to charge one of them. wow it's charging that one so just so you can see it's one cable so literally you can now share charge between phones and you can do the same thing with your uh, airpods uh, airpods pro 3 so if you have those but this is really cool like i mean you can charge literally one phone to the other usb-c 
right here to lightning right here. What's it gonna do? It's charging it, wow. So this one's at 95%, this one is at 75, but this one still charges this. So unfortunately, lightnings can't charge USB-C versions. So really interesting stuff. I really like the fact that we have some more compatibility with this USB-C cable. I didn't think it was gonna be a huge deal, but after seeing a couple of things like this, I'm really enjoying the fact that it has that, and I'm excited to see how I'll use it in my day-to-day. -day. One thing to note when you do get a new iPhone 15 or 15 Pro, you have to actually update the software already, especially if you wanna transfer your files from another iPhone, it's prompting you to update this phone before you can do so. So there may have been some sort of issue. So you make sure you uh, take that into consideration as well. But this is the iPhone 15 Pro in the natural titanium color. This is just the base model, 128 gigabytes, but you can expand that too much more depending on the configuration you want to purchase but i'm excited to see how this works and i'm actually going to test it out so be sure to subscribe to the channel i'll be posting tons of iphone 15 15 pro videos tips tricks and tutorials full playlist and i'm always here to help so if you have any questions feel free to ask in the comments but i'm actually really interested to hear if you're going to purchase the iphone 15 pro picking this up today the lineup was huge people with phones it felt a little bit like the older days and I was shocked because to me this feels more like an iPhone 14 s and uh, there were more people for this than the iPhone 14 at least where I picked it up but let me know in the comments if you're planning to pick this up don't forget to hit that like button subscribe and click the bell notification box so you're notified when I post new videos and as always I will see you in the next one